Hi, this is Cindy with Virtue Trucking, and Kevin is napping right now. Just wanted to <clears throat> say a few words about um, things that we went through yesterday. I know we put videos out there, and not sure who watches them. Not a lot of views yet because not many people know about us, but. Um, trying to do this raw and real, not edited, not, you know, special effects or anything. This is just him and I out here on the road. But we did a video where our truck had broke down. We switched from quality to rider and uh, the truck that we've been replaced with has already broke down three times in less than a month. So it's very frustrating. But yesterday in particular, we're out in Utah um, getting ready to pick up a load and our truck broke down. and. Uh, we're supposed to have all night service, expecting to drive away as soon as the car's repaired, the truck was repaired, and unfortunately, the rider company only authorized two hours of work. So after six, seven o'clock last night, the mechanic decided to go home, and uh, we got the truck outside the shop. He was nice enough to let us stay in the truck and not make us leave. Um, but we spent our night out in probably upper 90s, 100 degree weather. And you all know our trucks are small. These, these beds are not, but twin size at best. And so two people in the heat sleeping in that tight quarters, you can't recline your front seats to find space. And certainly don't want to sleep on the ground at a truck, you know, mechanic shop. So, you know, we... We really weathered that out um, about 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night. We have two dogs and uh, let them out, let them run loose in a fenced in area. It felt good to let them loose instead of have them on a leash. But my point is this you know, we're not homeless. We had a truck broke down, so we knew that um, they had to come a long way to bring us a replacement truck five hours wait from Colorado to Utah. That was fine. And yes, we were hot and sweaty, not much water to run off of. Um, our truck wasn't on, so we didn't have air conditioning. We didn't even have the basic essentials to keep our water cold. So it was a, a reality, a wake-up call for us to kind of understand what it's like to be in someone else's shoes. We knew that our morning was coming and a truck was on the way and air conditioning and a fridge and all those things were going to be accessible to us. but. Then again, you've got the homeless people out there. And just from my own point of view, I've been homeless when I was a teenager. I actually had a one-year-old and was homeless. And uh, let me tell you, that was January in the Midwest. It was cold, very cold. But I found uh, old broken down cars in the back of a old, you know, just a, I think it was a gas station, I don't know. But the, the cars were broke down. So we found, me and my baby, found safety in the back seat of old junk cars and he had baby blankets and I used those blankets along with my own clothing to cover up and bundle up and our body heat kept each other warm so even though at that time I thought that was the worst things could ever ever possibly be let me tell you the heat there's no way to adjust the heat you know in the winter you can cover up and get warm but in the in the heat of the day I don't care if it's in the shade or under moonlight even, you know, it is hot out there. And we've got people out there without a home, without shelter, without water, without essentials. And I mean, I don't care why they're there. I always hear, you know, oh, well, they're faking it or just trying to get easy money. They don't want a job. I don't care. I can't see anybody being that desperate to stand out in heat. I was out in that heat at nighttime and I was literally just worn out it just wore me out so thinking about these people standing on corners whether it be with signs or just trying to wash your windshield you know whatever we can do to help out even if it's a bottle of water or a dollar a quarter who cares but we really need to think about these people as human beings first and not judge them for why they're out there and do our part to try to help them the best we can I know um, that was my reality check last night and never been in a homeless situation again in the summertime. So, you know, I always thought the winter was so bad. You know, I tell my stories, but honestly, last night was a wake-up call. And this heat is bad. 
it's hard on your animals. The pavement's hot. So we take our dogs across these parking lots that are huge and walking them on a chain even, you know, um, it's hot under the pads of their feet, you know, so I worry about that. And we need to be responsible and we need to help our fellow U.S. citizens out when they're in trouble and even people we don't know where they come from, but they're on a corner and they're hot. So let's do our best to help out and that's just me, the kind of person I am, putting it out there. I know this is a lengthy video, but it really struck me and I wanted to talk about it. So I appreciate anyone who takes time to watch this video and, you know, I hope you're not in a position where you're in need. You know, and if so, I hope someone's watching out for you. And this is Cindy with Birchway Trucking. Over and out.